have joined us for another windy and cold episode of The Carnosaurs. And uh, today we have a little bit of a special feature. Behind me is the car that I have been talking about as soon as I started this channel. And I finally, 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 finally have it back. So we're going to give you guys a little bit of a walk around and uh, we're going to give you a little bit of uh, interior views. Uh, we also have a POV drive and also just my perks and quirks of uh, everything that is this C55. So come along and join us. Welcome. Welcome to the 2005 C55. And uh, today I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview. You know, uh, uh, kind of a little bit of the specifications of the car, how long I've owned it. Uh, give you a little bit of an interior look around. So as I said, this is a 2005 C55 AMG Mercedes, and uh, I've owned this car for almost a full year now, and I just got it back from an automotive collision center uh, due to the fact that I got ran off the road on Thanksgiving evening this past year, 2017. So the car's been gone for about a month and a half to almost two months now, and uh, very, very, very happy to have it back. So I, I've owned the car for almost 20,000 miles now. I've actually put a full 20,000 miles on it as of the other day. Um, so I've really, really enjoyed the car. Used it as a daily driver. I uh, don't think I would have changed it for the world. It's a 5.4 liter V8, uh, 300 and 367 horsepower and 387 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it's a nationally aspirated V8 coupled to a five-speed automatic transmission uh, that they used in just about everything. It's called the 7, 722.6 automatic transmission, and it's junk, but, <laughs> but it moves the car, so that's all that matters. Give you guys a spin around to the car. As you can see, we have an SRS light right now due to the fact that there is a passenger occupancy sensor out. So we'll get rid of that, and as you guys can see, He's still a baby, 40,000 miles. Here's the rest of the car. Tripod in the back. And this is a black on black car, so it's definitely uh, one of the more desirable color combos. Now this Mercedes in particular, I have actually lusted for and wanted a Mercedes just like this particular spec for quite a while now. Um, what it's about is this is this has honestly been my favorite style of Mercedes since I was a child and I told myself I would never ever be able to afford one. Little do I know that they would devalue like rocks and I would be able to pick this guy up for 20% of its original price. And it still has all the power. But yeah, as it goes, guys, this was just a quick little POV uh, kind of drive. Um, I will have more for you on the Mercedes in the future. As you know, it's my car. It's not going anywhere. Uh, We'll be, uh, we'll be having a bunch of new content coming out this next week at some new projects that are starting here rather soon. So keep in touch with us here at Cardinal Sewers. Um, and uh, let me know how you like the Mercedes. I sure love it. It's, uh, like I said, been pretty much my most favorite car that I've ever owned. And I do recommend if you guys can find one of these with reasonably low miles uh, for a reasonable price, pick it up, man pick it up it's a, it's a good little car and not many people know this but uh, they actually only made 1500 of these in a two-year period so it's becoming to be quite rare every every one that I've found online so far has been over a hundred thousand miles and looks pretty beat so I think that I may have gotten a gem but thanks again for watching guys all right guys well thanks for joining us for another episode of the Carna Sewers and uh, Hope you enjoyed the C55. I know I enjoy it. I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, I think I'm going to kind of tuck it away this here winter and uh, drive the S2000 a little more often. So uh, as you see, it's looking beautiful. Uh, it's kind of tough to clean when it's this cold. And it is a black car, so it's going to be instantly dirty. So the next time you guys see it, I guarantee it'll be dirty. 
But yeah, definitely uh, if you like this video, give us a like on the video and maybe think about giving us a subscription on the page. Uh, just hit the little notification button if you want to stay in touch with what we're doing here. And uh, we also have the Carnosaurus Facebook community up and going, so follow along with the, us there. It's just the Carnosaurus community on Facebook. It's, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a page that uh, you can share share new things that you're doing in the car world new pictures new new projects future projects future goals anything and everything that you guys would like to be doing uh, in the car industry it's a place that you can put all this stuff and it doesn't have to bother all the rest of your friends on facebook so uh follow along with us and uh, let me know how you guys like everything thanks again guys